I can fulfill that purpose. I believe that purpose is still waiting for me. At the same time, I believe if I die tomorrow, <coughs> I will have no regrets. At least not too many regrets. I believe in the inherent goodness of all people. I believe one day that inherent goodness, that inherent goodness will be manifest. Yes, I believe we can all help each other bring it about. I believe each one of us is our own biggest obstacle. I believe that under it all, this world is a beautiful world, waiting for us to uncover, to uncover the truth. It's true. I believe there is no such thing as natural. Natural is just miracle happening again and again till it looks routine. I believe my primary impact on this world begins with the impact I have on myself, then the impact I have on my own family, then my circle, then the world around me. I believe that God did not just put us here to fend for ourselves and figure it out. He has given us, every single one of us, a guide. That guide is what I call the Torah. I believe my life is to serve my purpose and inspire others to serve theirs. I believe I can. I believe if Michael turns out to be shitting me, then I will not have much trust in people I believe in. <laughs> I believe Michael is not shitting me. I believe he will fulfill his promise. I believe that when we do our darndest to fulfill our purpose, and we live our lives consistent with that, we will never lose out. Long term is what counts. Who remains standing at the end of the day is what counts. I believe we shall overcome. Thank you, David. So interestingly, what's happened since Martin Luther King has been more devastating than what happened before Martin Luther King. Now that's not a political statement, it's simply a statement of fact. So the question then becomes, then what is David's dream? Because everything that he said led us to that point of action. Do you follow me as I was listening to David, listening intently to what David was sharing with us? I'm asking the question, and then what is the action? What is the commitment? What is the resolve? You follow what I'm saying? So what is David's role then in that? And what David said, I don't know what it is yet. And I'm saying, that's not good enough. So David, you need to know what it is. And you need to take the step toward that action. And I say you need, I don't mean you should. I'm simply saying it's incumbent upon you. If what you believe to be true is true, then David is here to take action. Not many actions, 
not a mitzvah here or a mitzvah there, a mitzvah everywhere and everywhere. But you understand? But the action. <coughs> But this is just Michael talking. 